Have you ever experienced a situation where you are in a social situation and find yourself being absolutely petrified of what's going on around you? When you go somewhere and feel like everyone's looking at you or everyone's judging you, you feel the constant need to look and be your best in order to not be ridiculed. Sometimes you might feel that you're being watched in public when really nobody is looking at you. You might find that in meetings or in social interactions, you're afraid to truly speak your mind because of what that person or those people might think of you. And sometimes you might even find that when you are supposed to make a phone call or you go through a drive through or go into a store and need to ask for help, you feel this anxiety kind of rise up and you start to get panicky. Today, I just wanted to share some ideas and things that have worked for me to kind of become better in those situations, including this situation right here, which used to scare the shit out of me sitting here talking to a camera, knowing that it'll be viewed by multiple people. But over time, using these tactics that I'm going to explain in this video have really helped me to kind of take control of that. Living in a big city, first of all, has taught me a lot about social interaction and has put me in harm's way, so to speak, which is really what we need to do. We need to put ourselves in these uncomfortable situations more often than we'd really want to if we want that personal growth. If you hate making phone calls and you just don't want to talk to anybody over the phone, that's a problem. And I definitely used to have this but what I did was I would offer to make the phone call. If someone was gonna order pizza, I would be like, okay, I can call them. Or if I needed to call the doctor, I would do that. And I know for a fact that when I was younger, I would make my parents do this because I was so petrified of actually talking to another person on the phone, not knowing how to greet them, etc. just overthinking about all of it. But now I've kind of come to not enjoy it, but I definitely find more comfort in the fact that I can handle it and that I don't have a problem making phone calls or talking to a person in a store for help. So the key here is just to put yourself in a situation more often than you'd like in which you have to interact with people or be more social. Hop on a Zoom call if you have to. One thing that's really helped me, especially in situations where there's a lot of people, such as in a gym, you have to speak or that others might be directing their attention towards you, is to think about that every human is equal. It sounds very simple, but if you really internalize this idea that humans are all equal, nobody is better than you and nobody is worse than you. We're all on an equal playing field and everybody has the same fears and desires as you do. This has really helped me because when I level and think that nobody is looking down on me and nobody is looking up to me, I feel like I can be more myself and really forget about what others are thinking about me because it doesn't matter if we're all equal. We all have the same thoughts and feelings and we know what it's like to be in that situation. So after doing a bit more research on this, I realized there was actually a name for this and it's called having horizontal relationships instead of vertical relationships. Where did these names come from? Well, vertical is the typical hierarchy structure in a business, for example, or in a family or anywhere else where there is some kind of levels of responsibility, levels of expertise, so to speak. But horizontal relationships, again, see everybody as equal, as knowing the same amount as everybody else. Another thing that's really helped me in situations where I tended to be awkward, such as standing on a subway or on a train or just somewhere in public without grabbing my phone, is to envision yourself as your alter ego or somebody powerful if you don't have an alter ego. The famous story is that Beyonce has an alter ego that she, when she goes on stage, she brings out that alter ego and all of a sudden she's this different person when she's on stage. And what this helps her do is dissociate her feelings, her thoughts, her emotions from her stage personality. And it allows her to be more confident and give the best performance. And this same approach can be applied to our lives as well. If we think of ourselves as someone we really admire, someone from maybe a TV show or from a book you read, this is a great person you can emulate to be in your alter ego. So if you're in that awkward situation, just imagine you are that person. Act like they would. Move a bit more slowly to get that confidence across. Really think about how those people would be thinking about your current situation. And honestly, it really helped me because I started to kind of just become this alter ego whenever I was in certain situations, like on the subway, for example. I would just think, oh, I'm Harvey Specter from Suits on my way to work. And 
It would just make it a lot easier to cope with that anxiety. Hanging out with people that are great networkers and great communicators has also taught me a lot. I find myself often when I'm in a, a conversation with somebody who's a little bit awkward or who is more difficult to talk to, I become more self-aware of what I'm saying and also I try to drive the conversation to make them less awkward and that puts a lot of strain on us. So what I found is very helpful with this is to hang out with people that are great at communicating, great speakers, they're great networkers, they talk to a lot of people, they can introduce you to people and by talking to them you'll start to see how they interact with people, how they how they speak, how they use eye contact, how they keep quiet sometimes. And these things are all very useful for us to figure out what we need to be focusing on. And it also makes the conversation a lot more enjoyable because we don't have to worry about creating an awkward situation. What I found to be especially true walking down the streets of Toronto is the power of eye contact and good posture. I used to kind of look at the ground when I walked by people and kind of slouch a little bit. That was kind of just my natural posture. I started to realize when I looked people in the eye, gave them a little smile, it made things a lot easier because most of the time they would smile back and it wouldn't be awkward or weird. And my overthinking became a lot less. Same thing for my posture. As I stood up more straight, people seemed to respect that more. And as you might have heard a thousand times before, but it's definitely the truth, people are not nearly thinking about you as much as you think they are. If you say something wrong or stupid or you're eating in public or you have some other thing you're doing in public that makes you awkward or not feeling like your best self, just know that people will maybe notice, but in a couple seconds they're completely forget about it. And although you might be thinking about it hours later, they most certainly are not. Leave a comment down below if you've tried any of these and if it's been successful for you. And let me know about your struggles too. I know I definitely had a hard time getting more comfortable talking to people. Even talking to this camera is still uncomfortable for me every time I do it. But with each bit of practice, it slowly gets better.